everyone, two yellow balls and three green balls are placed on the jar. So that's a total of five balls. One ball is randomly chosen, its color is noted, and the ball is put back in the jar. Then we repeat it for the second time uh, to get the second ball. We want to find the probability that both balls are the same color. And then for example two, we're going to repeat but um, without replacement. So we're drawing two balls and replacing it. So for the first one, what we're going to do is draw a tree diagram and show this scenario. So the probabilities, draw these branches. So the probability of a yellow and a green. So the probability of yellow is 2 out of 5 and the probability of green is 3 out of 5. So that would what it would be if you're just talking about the first draw. Or let's put first choice. First chosen. Alright, then we put the ball back in and draw again. So um, this is yellow green and this would be yellow green. So we're going to just write two-fifths, three-fifths for the green, two-fifths, three-fifths. And this is your second um, time. All right, now let's label this. What we have is um, probability of yellow, yellow. So I'm, I'm going down like this, yellow for the first, yellow for the second. So probability of yellow, yellow is multiply these. Two-fifths times two-fifths, which equals 4 over 25. All right. Now, let's do yellow, green. So probability of yellow, green, and that's when you're doing this branch with this branch. Um, that's going to be two-fifths times three-fifths, which gives you six divided by twenty-five. All right. Uh, next, let's do uh, green. Probability of green, green. So probability of green, green. That's going to be three-fifths, no, th green, yellow, sorry green, yellow, three-fifths times two-fifths, and that also equals six divided by twenty-five. And then finally, let's do um, green, green. So this one and this one. Probability of green, green is going to be three-fifths times three-fifths, which is uh, nine twenty-fifths. Now our question is, uh, find the probability that the both balls are the same color. So what that's going to be is you're either going to get, um, you're either getting probability of yellow, yellow, or, or means to add, you're getting the probability of green, green. So you're adding these two here. So that's going to be um, 4 25ths plus uh, 9 25ths, which equals 13 25ths. All right, so again, that was probability of both same color. All right, now what we're going to do is um, repeat but not put back. So we're going to draw another tree diagram. And so we're going to do uh, yellow green. So the first uh, leaves, uh, the branches are going to be two fifths and three fifths like before. However, we're not putting the ball back. So on the dr uh, second draw, we only have four balls. So this is yellow green. So that means we have two out of four 
and three out of four. And for um, the green, that would be th uh, two out of four. Uh, this one actually be one out of four. Uh, one out of four because if you already drew the yellow. Now if you draw yellow here and green here, so this one's going to be two-fourths. And then this one's going to be two-fourths as well. All right. Now, let's find out the probabilities. So, for the same colors, that's going to be yellow, yellow, and green, green. So, what I'm going to do is write probability of both same color. Now, that's going to equal the probability of yellow, yellow plus the probability of green, green. All right, so yellow, yellow is going to be two-fifths times one-fourth plus green, green is going to be um, three-fifths times two-fourths. So this one's going to be two divided by 20 plus 6 divided by 20, that equals 8 divided by 20, which reduces to 2 fifths. All right. Now, we're going to talk about this formula here a uh, second, and what does this mean? Probability of B given A. So we had example 1 and 2, and what we're doing is so for example one and two we denote the probability that the second ball so the second yellow second is yellow given that the first is yellow all right this is called conditional probability because it gives a probability that the second ball is yellow on the condition that the first ball is yellow. That's how you read that. So for example one, the probability that the second is green given that the first is green equals three-fifths. Okay probability that the second is green given that the first is yellow is also three-fifths. These are the same. But for example two, let's look at example two. The probability that the second is green and then first is green is two fourths and the probability that the second is green given that the first is yellow is three fourths so notice these two are different because we didn't do replacement so basically, uh, in example one, um, the first given the f when you're drawing the second time, it's not dependent on the first time. Um, but this example two, uh, what we draw the second given the first is dependent on that. So in example two, where the probability that the second ball is green does depend on whether or not the first ball is green. So, uh, if we talk about two events A and B being independent, independent, this only occurs if and only if the occurrence of A does not affect the probability of B. So, a lot of times in probability, you're going to get a question. You're going to say, "Are they independent?" So. 
if they are independent, that means the probability of B given A equals the probability of B. And that's how you're going to test it. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.